Okay guys, so the guest bedroom and bathroom is over here down the hallway of our house going off of the kitchen and dining room so I'll go and show you the guest bathroom first just because it's very, you know, simple to do there's not a whole lot going on so sorry about the yellow lighting but this is it right here it is a full bath so this is what the vanity area looks like we have a medicine cabinet and a ton of storage which i love so i do have a few things on the countertop right here on this side i have some faux flowers that i got from tj maxx and home goods right next to it i have this little canister that i got from target and in there i just have some q-tips cotton pads and cotton balls of course there's a hand soap right there from bath and body works and on the other side of the counter i have this really cute kind of like tray i got this tray from home goods recently actually so you might be able to get it if it's there you know how Home goods is always kind of like a hit or miss, but it does say necessities inside. It's really adorable. So in the tray, I like to keep some hand lotion and body sprays for the guest. And there is a full flower arrangement right there. That's also from Home Goods. And then this cute little like plastic holder thing. Um, I guess like to keep some bath bombs in there that guests can use if they want to take a bath. So that is that. So yeah, I like to keep the countertop kind of, you know, clutter-free. So we are actually planning on taking this medicine cabinet out. So this will disappear really, really soon. Not this coming up weekend, like not Labor Day weekend, but the weekend after that because we have a wedding to go to Labor Day weekend. So yeah, we're just going to take all this out and then uh, just place a mirror, like a framed mirror and cute vanity lights on top of it so i'm excited for that and obviously there's the toilet right there and i do have kind of like this artwork here it just says refresh i found this actually i believe at home goods either home goods or target probably home goods and it's just really adorable i love the beachy vibe and yeah and over here is just a little towel or hand cloth holder thing and on top of the toilet, I have a cute little basket with some toilet paper on it. This is what the shower curtain looks like. I just want with something white and something that you can actually throw in the washer whenever it does get dirty. You can't really tell, but this shower curtain actually does have a little bit of a silver flex to it. Like, it's really, really pretty. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you guys, but it is a little shiny and the shower curtain rings were from target i love the shower curtain rings do you see the detail on that it's so cute i love it and on this side is just a towel bar with some towels on it i also have a cute little basket right here with some clean towels of course for our guest so the basket was from home goods i almost forgot this rug was from a local market and the other one was from home goods now onto the guest bedroom, which is right next door. Let me just adjust my camera here. All right, so the guest bedroom is right here and I really wanted this space to be really nice and cozy and I think I achieved that, but it kind of looks a little too girly, but I don't know, I like it. I used whatever I already had, so yeah. This is what it overall looks like. It is kind of a smaller room, but it serves its purpose so as you can see just kind of like a square room so i'll start off over here in this corner so over here i wanted to place this desk i already had this desk from my old office and also the chair and i didn't want to get rid of it so i decided to place it here in this corner and i think it's handy you know when you have guests they sometimes need a place to put their stuff on so that is that um the desk was from ikea i just painted the legs gold the chair was from kirkland's i also painted the legs um they were wood color and now they're white the pillow on there i got from etsy i believe and then the vase and faux flowers were from home goods the mirror decals right here they're from home goods as well it came in a set of fours but i had one extra one because the other three are in our living room so I just did it like that. Um, this picture frame was from Big Lots. Really cute, goes with the beachy 
vibe. Okay, and then over here we have these two little guys. The pink one actually has makeup that are new that I still need to organize into my office. And then the bottom one is actually an ottoman and in there are some blankets for our guest. Now on to this side of the room. We have the bed. I wanted it to kind of feel like very airy and, you know, fresh. So sheer white curtains were perfect. So anyways, this is what the bed looks like. We just have a full-size bed in here. So the headboard I actually purchased from Jaws in Maine. I will link it for you guys down below. And I also did find it on Amazon, so I'll link that down below as well. The bed sheets were from Target, like the comforters from Target. The Count Your Blessings pillow was from Walmart a few years ago. The blue pillows were from Amazon and then the rest of the sheets and stuff were from Target. The mirror up there is from Target. Got it a few years back but I believe they still have them in stores. And then the nightstands were both from Amazon. This lamp is so freaking cute. I got that from Home Goods a few years back. It's adorable. And then on this side, I guess have a picture frame that I believe I got from Kohl's, a vase that I got from a thrift store, and a Target candle warmer. And on this side is a closet. It's really big. Um, we use it for storage, like extra blankets, extra home decor. I put some in there and yeah, we're not gonna go through that because it's a little messy. On this wall, I have this little quote. It says, do all things with love. This was in my old office as well, but I decided to put it in here because it kind of goes with the whole theme. Um, but yeah, really cute. So I still need to change the light fixture in this room. This was already here from the past owners. Um, but I haven't gotten around to it yet because the one that I really wanted to buy is kind of a little too girly. And um, this room is going to be, you know, our future kids' room. So I didn't want to replace it with the one I really, really want because what if we have a boy? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I'm just holding off on that and waiting until maybe you have kids and then I'll change this whole room, you know what I mean? And actually buy all new stuff. But for now, we are going to stick with this light fixture. And that is pretty much it. That is what our guest bedroom looks like. I know, like I said, it is a little girly, but it is what it is. Again, I just, you know, used what we already had. The only thing that I purchased new was the headboard. Everything else was from our old house and yeah, I didn't want to really go buy all new furniture and stuff like that. So that is it. <laughs> so, you know, gotta make it work. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. I will have a whole blog post about our guest bedroom and bathroom, so definitely check it out. I'll link it for you guys down below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And also subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you back here. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!